Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's coffee time with Flame Monroe. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm pouring some more coffee. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Welcome to Coffee Time with Flame Monroe. And this early and this morning, I am having coffee. You see? You see what my coffee cup says? Dad needs a vacation. Real shit. Real shit. Mm, 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 mm. So let's get it started. Let's get it crunk. First of all, I hope you all had a great weekend. I did not do coffee times this weekend. This was a but look at my look at my look at my horns falling apart. I'm in I'm in the Halloween drag, y'all. And I put this on because on the 31st, which is next Thursday, which is Halloween, I'm hosting a show at the J Spy Comedy Club for J. Anthony Brown, 5581 West Manchester. Uh, you guys come show up. We have a costume contest as well as a comedy show. And on next Wednesday, the 30th, I am hosting for five dollar Wednesdays at the Comedy Union, 5040 West Pico. Everything is five bucks. Five dollars to get in. Five dollar drinks. Five dollar food. Hundred million dollar show. Come and see it. We're gonna have a great time. So I had to push that. This weekend, this Sunday, I will be in St. Louis, the 314, at the Mystic Grill in association with Hangton Productions. You can get your tickets on Eventbrite. Also, you can get your tickets on Eventbrite for Halloween at the J-Spot. My boy J. Anthony Brown talks about it. He's on the Steve Harvey Morning Show every day. You can hear it. And uh, he's um, out of chemotherapy. He's doing great. So I'm so glad that he asked me. I absolutely love and adore J. Anthony Brown. Because J. Anthony Brown was checking for me long before Netflix. So thank you, J. Anthony Brown. Okay, let's get it going. Okay, I got to take this off because this is driving me crazy. Hold on. There, there we go. There we motherfucking go. I was watching the interview, um, ladies and gentlemen, with Meghan Markle, who is the princess that Prince Harry married from Compton. And took her across the pond to England to live in the uh, in the palace. <laughs> she was saying how difficult it was, and the tabloids have been destroying her. And I saw the names that they call her. I seen a lot of this stuff. Uh, it was it was horrible, but she won. So here it is. They can say whatever they want to because not only did he marry her, but she has his child. So forever will she and her son, if and if she has other children. And those royals believe in procreating because that damn Prince William won't stay up out of uh, Miss Woman's snatch. She ain't got 9,000 kids. I think they're trying to have another one. So she will forever be taken care of. So for all you people who hated that she was part African-American or this or that and woo-woo-woo and she was up in the Queen's Palace, nah, 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 like we said when we was kids, nah, she won. She's already in there. Say what you need to. She is a royal. She will be taking care of her and her children for life, for all their lives, because that's what they do. Don't be mad at her, because she got that black girl magic. Prince Harry had been around the world, and I, 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 just like Megan, just like um, Lisa Stansfield said, baby, he had been around, he had had all the flavors of the rainbow, been around the world, and I, I, I. That nigga stopped in Compton for a blunt and some chicken wings and got a hold of that black, old black girl magic. Megan put that bedroom spin on that ass. That nigga said, I'm going to go across this pond and talk to this old bitch, the queen. Look at here, old bro. I don't, I don't care how you don't feel about this. Y'all terrorize my mom. I'm marrying this black bitch right here. Yes, he did. And she had his baby. And if she's a smart bitch, she'll pull it down and Ross and have two, three more back to back. You know, that's insurance. Come on, Meghan Markle. A sister is in the, is in the in the palace, bitch. So for all you haters that hate it, hate on me, hater. Now or later, cause she is a princess and y'all is mad. <laughs> Do it, Meghan Markle. Suck his dick from the back and stick your nipple in his booty. Make that nigga never leave you. Oh, baby, it's a trick I learned when I was young. So hats off to Meghan Markle. She is our princess. She's a she's the world's princess. So for all you people who cannot take it kill yourself let me go on to um this week is also the week prep week for mr and miss black universe in atlanta georgia you guys if you're in atlanta go to the pageant i'm not exactly sure where it is but i know it's this weekend which is the 25th 26th and 27th so you guys go out enjoy the pageant naisha dupree is the mayor of atlanta she will definitely be there and it's going to be a fantastic contest um, I just looked at something on um, CNN. CNN don't always get it right to me. I didn't like the debates that they brought up that whole Ellen thing with that whole Ellen and 
or who Ellen was friends with. People can't pick and choose your friends. We may not agree politically or sexually or on a whole lot of other things, but that don't mean that we can't be friends. People think has such small minds, so damn petty, it irritates me. But then when I see these posts that say gays for Trump and blacks for Trump and Latinos for Trump, have you ever had a cup of Jim Jones Kool-Aid? Are you familiar with Jim Jones? <laughs> Who killed 900 people drinking Kool-Aid? Because I thought I had it wrong. I thought it was 100. It was 900. Yeah, have a glass on me. Purple or red? Coffee time. Mm-mm-mm. And now that we, we, since we talked about pageantry system, let's go on to this pageant. So, November the 10th in Indianapolis, Indiana is the Queen and King pageantry system. I am the official host. I have no vested interest in it financially, but I am the host. I do love Rayshawn and Coco Van Cartier very much. Um, when you sign a contract to be a national title holder, as well as, as so far, as, and taking the money, taking the money is just a minor part of it. Reigning as the king and queen and being contractually obligated to do what you're supposed to do is what's important. When you don't follow the rules and be compliant with, with, with the rules, there are repercussions and consequences to your actions. So your action causes a reaction. If you knew that you were this national title holder and you were not supposed to enter another national panel, because king and queen is a national pageant system. It's brand new, but it's still a national pageant system. And it's better than some because he gives back to the entertainers and he pays in full. So that is great. You have an obligation to fulfill your contract in full in order to be, reign, give up the crown. When you are not compliant, then your crown is snatched from you. The, uh, the crown was taken away from the king yesterday because he entered another contest. I don't know what the reasons were. I don't even know why he, didn't, why he felt like that's what he needed to do. But such is life. So you have to deal with the consequences of what comes behind. This in no way reflects the system because I sat there and watched Rayshawn count that money out for the king and queen last year. They got all their money. He set up for professional photo shoots and flew them to contests to sit in the audience to represent, to do national walks. See, here's my thing. You don't want the ugly side. You, everybody want to say the promoter is ugly, but here you have a promoter that's fair and honest and forthcoming and willing to assist and help you. You disrespect will do what you want to do, then you have to take the consequences of your actions, is all I'm saying. Nobody is bashing anyone, but Rayshawn is a professional. And legally, Rayshawn has the upper hand, and Rayshawn is a son of a bitch when it comes to legalities, and he works in corporate America. I'm telling you, this is not going to work out well for the person who crossed the line. No names need to be said. Y'all already know shit. I ain't got to say no damn names. But if you decide that you want to come and run for this very professional contest who has all the money and who paid up front in full, so contractually obligated, a lot of these national systems don't even give you all the money. They give you some of the money, drama all year on bookings and pictures and what they want you to do and you can't get naked, you can't do this, and what they don't want you to do. Then when you come back to give up the crown, they still disrespect you. So you all made a choice. And life is choices. And sometimes you have to deal with the choices that you have made. I will see you all on November the 10th, though, for the pageantry system. And I just want to know who will be our very first king. I said it. Because ain't nobody going to do shit to me. Because I promise you I'm not worried. But, um, yeah, outside of that, I'm sitting here watching The View. I'll be glad when Whoopi finished with this movie. Because me and these white braids, Whoopi, I'm tired of them now. So... I went white too, but my white growing in already. Y'all see, y'all see the color growing in already. And I ain't comb my hair this morning. I brushed my teeth, but I ain't comb my hair. Can you smell my breath? Ooh. <laughs> That's not working out. That don't work on me. My fat ass always have a fresh mouth. I talk too much shit. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is Coffee Time with Flame Monroe. Bro. I need you to know that I just ordered my new fans. The new fans are fired. New pictures on them. From uh, my my photo shoot with T.O. Who will be in Indianapolis taking pictures. Um, I have Mother Had You, Mother Love You, Mother Fuck You. I have Fan the Flame. We have He, She, We. Everybody loves He, She, We. He, She, We is my, my favorite pronoun. He cash a check. She get the money and we spend it. That's one bitch. Ooh, so when y'all get to the pageant. Fan the Flame. Fan it. 
Uh, I just need you to know that coffee time is about to go big. I want you guys to continue to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share with your friends. Like, post, all of that. Um, thank you again. Me and T.S. Madison will be linking up again very soon. So, y'all get ready for that. We gonna, I ain't going to let T.S. Madison take no gummy. She couldn't handle it. She a little boy. She was playing with the big boys. But she didn't know who she was fucking with. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for subscribing. I do see your messages on YouTube. Thank you for the love and the positivity. Even for the few two or three negativities. Whatever you got negative to say, okay, that's fine too. You're, you're entitled to your opinion. I promise you, my skin ain't cut nowhere. I'm not bleeding. My face didn't melt off. Say what you say how you feel. I'm grown. I'm a grown ass man. I need you guys to remember that there's only one thing in life that truly matters. Can't no bitch do what you do. Keep that motto. Keep that mantra in your head. Focus on you. You don't have time to focus on this person or that person because you're so focused on what you're doing. This is Flame Monroe. This is Coffee Time. It's Monday. It's a good week. I'll see you somewhere. If it's not Sunday in St. Louis, then it'll be next Wednesday at the Comedy Union in L.A. Or next Thursday at the J-Spot in L.A. Or November the 10th in Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm telling you right now, life it goes on. Stand on who you are. Stand on your word. Be a man or woman of your word. And life is always good. Mwah.